Amanda Valentine, editor of the lifestyle blog Everything Sounds Better in French, and today I'm going to show you how to make rosemary mashed potatoes with vegetable broth. It's really easy, really delicious, and the vegetable broth is a nice substitution for milk. So you'll still get that super creamy yumminess happening, but without the dairy. So let's look at our ingredients. Um, we have four cups here of potatoes that have already been boiled, um, about 10 minutes until fork tender. I use russet potatoes, but you can use any kind of potato you fancy. We have a quarter of a cup of vegetable broth. You could certainly use chicken broth as well. Um, we have two tablespoons of melted butter. Um, you could also use room temperature, just make sure it's soft and ready to go. Two tablespoons of fresh chopped rosemary. So good, so fantastic. Absolutely get the fresh stuff, it's so worth it. And then we have one teaspoon each of salt and pepper. So we are gonna start by putting our potatoes over here in the middle and grabbing our little mashing apparatus. Now I'm using a potato masher. Um, you could use a fork if you wanted. You could also certainly use a hand mixer. I wouldn't recommend using a food processor. Um, potatoes, because of the you know, high amount of starch, can get really gluey really, really quickly. You can indeed overwork the potato, so you wanna be gentle with the potato. Um, and I find that the masher just kind of does the job nicely really quickly and you can sort of let it be. Um, but whatever you prefer, you just, you just get on with it. So using now the vegetable broth, you wanna make sure with the vegetable broth that it is at least room temperature um, or warm. Anytime you're adding in um, a liquid to potatoes, whether it's milk or broth, you wanna make sure that it's warm because again, you don't have that um, you know, mix up with, with the starch. Um, it doesn't react well. They're very fussy potatoes, aren't they? Um, but so hearty and so worth the trouble. So let's add in our butter now, super, super yummy. And I'm just gonna do about half of the rosemary and then half of the salt and pepper to start. And then once we mix it all up together, at the very end, we'll add in the remainder. So let's just get this going. This smells so fantastic. I wish you could smell this rosemary. It's just amazing. So I'm just gonna give this a few nice little little mashes to get everything incorporated. I love just mixing up something so simple as potatoes. You know, like once you have this down, you can substitute all sorts of herbs, you know, different broths, whatever works for you. Uh, but once you find like your perfect preferred method of like, you know, the amount of liquid you like per potato, you know, the amount of salt, pepper, you can just customize until your heart is beyond totally content and come up with your own special mashed potato recipe. Okay, let's add in the rest of the rosemary. Now, as a note, I love my rosemary. I love my herbs. If I'm having herbs in potatoes, I really want it to like, you know, taste like that herb. So I have a lot going on here. If you like just a tiny hint of an herb, I would definitely cut it down. But this will be really, really delicious. Okay, the remainder of the salt and the pepper. Now something else to note, um, if the broth that you use has a lot of salt in it already, um, you may want to cut down the salt. The broth that I used was very, very low in sodium, um, so it needed some assistance. So the great thing about salt and pepper is you can always do it to taste. Just remember that you can't take out, but you can always add more in. And there you go, how easy was that? It smells absolutely delicious. Rosemary mashed potatoes with vegetable broth. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. And if there's something that you want to learn how to make, send me an email at request at And don't forget to check out our other great videos.